welcome to another episode of Electrical Theology, Esoteric Life Coaching. I am your host, Charles. Thanks for joining me, guys. We talk about the essence, essences of who you are and how to manifest who you are. True manifestation is manifesting you. It's not necessarily things, although things are, in one esoteric term, the word. It is... Uh, the vibration spoken. It is God saying, I am the Word, and all that. What all there was and is, is the Word. And I'm paraphrasing, of course. Go look up Genesis 1 1 and all that good stuff. Um, and what this expression of that, and again, we talk about that, this Shambhala. If you don't know what those are, go watch those uh, other videos, and that's going to give you an idea of what we'll be talking about today. And what we'll be talking about today is your desires, right? Uh, and if this sounds it's just interesting to you of how to get your desires out of you and into the world, stay tuned. All right, guys, let's get started. <laughs> For those who are new, thank you for joining me. Those who are continuing to watch these videos and get something out of them, go ahead and uh, tickle the al algorithms and say AI is taking over everything or has taken over everything. And if you really know it, you are in a simulation and the AIs are already running it anyway. And it's for your benefit. And it's up to you to understand that you are in this matrix, this simulation, and being able to navigate, negotiate, and manipulate and manifest within and create... Uh, Taking the electromagnetism, the ions, the energy, all the words uh, that all are all synonymic, uh, means power. It's your soul. It's your essence. All these things are the same thing. It's trying to take what is, and what is is this. T H I S is this is this. This is that that. Much like a hat, you pull a rabbit out of a hat. The hat is the black hole where all no thing came from. Now, if you've watched a lot of my old videos, you know that the no thing is pre-that. Right? That has yet to express itself. That has yet to desire itself to change. And that desired itself to change. It sired itself. It became desire is day and sire. Sire is father. It's of the father. From the father. The Father is just the void, the no thing. And then so when the no thing became a thing, the thing was the word that was expressed, right? Again, Genesis, if you want to go into there, are other ancient texts uh, where things expanded and exploded. Science says we came from a big bang. It's all the same thing, right? And this thing and thingness, right, is all about the continuation of that in this form flowing. That flow is an essence. That essence is electromagnetic. And so if you're ready to create something in your life, but you're not sure how to attract it, um, we have to sort of understand that the reason why you even have this feeling inside you to create something, right? And if you don't, then that's what's missing from your life is that you're not paying attention to what you desire, I know the Buddhists and other ones have desires, the misery to all things, and again, paraphrasing. Um, <clears throat> and they want to lead, you know, uh, a, lead to a no-thing life in this thing life. But not everyone's there, guys. So I'm talking to the ones who want to manifest and serve community. Serve is verse. It's an anagram for serve. Verse is a universe. We can categorize and subcategorize that into God or Shambhala or hierarchy that we've talked about. All these things that I have taught you are the beginnings of how to desire or put into motion what is inside you and have, have it created and make it into your thing world. Um, the thing is also meaning word, right? The root words are the same for those. Um, but it's an a able to produce, right? the essence that's unformed and produce it into this formed world. Now everything that has been produced has been produced. So in one essence, all the program, everything that you've ever programmed um, is written for you to do something with. Now you can take what's already programmed and rearrange it and make something out, out of it that's never been created. Absolutely, like taking red and yellow and making orange. 
You see what I'm saying? So orange, in one sense, has never been created in this scenario. Before orange became orange, uh, only red and yellow existed. And so when red and yellow existed, they became together. They desired for something more, so they got together. They combined into one field, one verse, a universe. And so they became orange. Right? I know some of y'all are thinking, orange, you glad you're listening to this video right now? A little humor. Uh, so... The orange, so the orange wasn't made, but the potential, the code was there to make it. Does that make sense? So everything that you want to create is already there and ready to be made, but it's up to you to desire it. The desire that you feel, the pull, the tug in your life to do something more, and even not, not knowing what that is yet. Or even if you do, what do you do about it? So what you want to do with it then is the process I'm going to help you understand today. And part of that uh, desire is... Um, what are you going to do with it when you do get that color orange? Right? You've been drawn with red and yellow. Now what are you going to do differently with this orange? And so in your life, you have a, you've had a desire. And then through that desire, it was able to produce something else in your life, an effect or something. And so there's a pull now or a tug to do more with what you produced. Does that make sense? So now that you've created, the reason why we have desire is to create something anew out of what was old. You know, in this case, it's not really old or new. It's just unfolding. it. That's the unfolding moment. The colors are always blending. And so when we do this, we want to do something with this more. And so having the reason why we produce more is because we want to do more. And if you're not having that pull to do more in this life, then you're missing the point of this life, or this iteration, or this program, right? It's to take what is here and then do something new with it that's uh, in alignment with your desire. Take what is around you, right? Use the things you have, use the words you have to create life, right? A new painting's life. Um, a new poem is life. A new business is life, right? But what... and what happens to people and what their biggest obstacle is, is not paying the price that you need to, to fulfill your desire. For an example, if you have a program, right, and you know that this is in alignment with your um, desire, and you're like, yes, that's my missing piece. And again, you got to understand, everyone's here has different pieces inside them, and it's our desire, and a desire is a magnetic pull, right? And so for me, the Buddhists who say, okay, all desire is what uh, leads to misery or something to that case. Um, for me, if you look it down, if you break it down into its essence or its form or its unform, is that there's a pull or a, an attraction to bring things together. And so what happens, again, the Big Bang, God spoke the first word, whatever creation story you align with, it expanded. And so this expansion, X pan, the ion, pan means all, all, of energy and so all the energy went out and went forth and we are the effect of that going forth that going forth and so it is a natural inclination right to come to back together and so our desire is has to come back together now but many people aren't willing to pay the price to change right so uh, when you hear these offers or when you hear these uh, people uh, that are not, not getting caught up in their hype, right? A great salesperson can tap into what you desire, right? And not convince you, but persuade you into um, tapping into what it is you know you desire, and then your desire is more valuable than money, right? In, in this matrix of money, we put value on money, and money is just paper, right? It's an ideology. Uh, so what's the essence behind that is that it's not the money we necessarily need, it's the desire to be fulfilled that's more important. And so in our world, people, um, if they really desire something, they'll do whatever it takes to get that thing. And that was in the universal, the universe, the one verse, the one voice, the thing expanded. And to have you do more with this thing that's expanding inside of you, that's driving you, Right, that's a motive behind what it, why is you're even here. Motive is motor, which is emotion, which is movement of the ions. That's a desire. All that's desire, 
right? But it's just electromagnetism that's either pushing you to do something or pulling you back to not do something, right? Or pulling other people together. And so there's a lot of you who all have individual pieces and it's important you all come together. Not to agree or disagree and all that good stuff. It's about to bring your pieces together because each one of us have a piece from the Big Bang that needs to come back together to create the whole. That's our desire to be one. That makes sense? We can be individualistic within the one. Right? We can all be our own colors, but all the colors need to come back together. And so, um, but not many people are willing to pay that price. And if you're not willing to pay a couple hundred dollars, a couple thousand dollars, ten thousand dollars for a program that you feel is what your soul is calling and say go do, but your mind, your human mind says, no, I can't do that because I don't have the money. Uh, again, you're saying, I don't understand the, the, the process of this ideology called money. I don't understand that it's just energy and I can pull or attract it whenever I want. You've bought stuff that you couldn't afford, right? And it's sitting uh, in your driveway or it's sitting um, right on your shelf, right? A million books and programs you bought, but what really weren't your desires. They just tapped into what it is you're wanting to do, but no one's talked your message yet. But when you finally find someone, when you attract yourself, to a video like me or someone else then and they offer you something and you know and true in your essence and your soul that that is your piece that you're missing you will do what it takes to find that resource right source you're going to tap into resource source you want to tap into your source and then be able to attract what it is you need to do right align your stars right to make that and pay for that because if you're not willing to pay the price that someone's offering then you're not willing to change and you just have to accept that and if you're not willing to pay then it was never your thing but again the essence is that you got to look at yourself and go really am I willing to change so again we talked last time in last videos is that most people don't change because they don't really want to change they'll bitch about it but they're not going to change they just aren't all right because that's what we called demonic faith right and go back and watch that video called demonic faith because people want to bitch and moan about change but they're not willing to pay the price to change right? and sometimes in our physical dollar system you got to come up and however you got to come up with it just like you bought stuff that you really didn't want and it's sitting in your closet or wherever it is right or you re regretted buying that timeshare right or whatever and you don't use it right or that annual pass to wherever and you go only once right uh, so we come to the point now where when someone offers something that you know is more valuable than money, right? That's the price you have to pay. You understand that you're willing to do what it takes, sacrifice what it does to get that thing. Again, the thing is the word, the vibration of you desiring to be more than that you are. That's why we desire things so we can get more, so we can do more with what we got. And that's to help others, to serve others, to serve the source. All right, guys, that's what I got for you today. Right? If you enjoyed this, right? If you want to keep listening to more of this stuff, go ahead and like, subscribe. Notification bell, guys. That's the one that lets you know when my videos come out and the time they come out. Right? And share this with a friend, right? Help them because we're all trying to help each other get the pieces back together again and to be a, a universe. Right? Peace, love. See you tomorrow.